Saturday morning, Fox 4 viewer Kevin Crutz sent a video of Hancock Creek covered in blue-green algae. And while today it looks much better, I wanted to find out what exactly is in the water. So that's a very big chunk of the organism called Microcystis aeruginosa. Otherwise known as a type of blue-green algae known for producing toxins. Florida DEP is currently looking in if there's toxins after they took a sample on Monday. In the meantime, health alerts have been issued. Well, it's a health alert because you don't know what's going to happen if that bloom does all concentrate in one area and a child goes in there and accidentally drinks it. That's or any kind of recreation where we think they might be exposed to it. And while it can be toxic, Dr. Rosen says you only need to worry if it's ingested, is, unlike red tide. We know it's not like brevitoxin, which comes from red tide. It doesn't aerosolize like that. So we just got through with an experiment and we're finding very little is getting into the air. Dr. Rosen says it is not only toxic to humans, but also our pets. He says if your dog swims in infected water, they could receive a very high dose. And the question is how much is there per, you know, that they get inside. And then when we look at um, mortality, we look at micrograms of toxin per kilogram of body weight. So you have to have the right amount of toxin to cause it. And below that threshold, Dr. Rosen says it can cause gastrointestinal issues. But with blue-green algae continuing to bloom in Southwest Florida, I asked Dr. Rosen how much longer this will last. As long as it's warm and as long as the rains keep washing nutrients from the, the landscape into the water, it has all it needs. So how do we get rid of these blooms? Well, you can't go to Ohio because they have blooms up there. You can't go to Michigan. They got blooms there. You can't go to Oregon. Let's see. You can't. You have artificial canals and you have artificial nutrient addition, so you can't turn it back into a swimming pool. It's not going to happen. Well, Dr. Rosen could not tell me if there was toxins in the sample I brought him. He says we should act as if there are. DEP will have the results on the toxicity of the water later this week. In North Fort Myers, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.